manager for Richland State Bank in Rabel. And uh, we have uh, eight different locations. And I can take this back to our managers, and I know that they will benefit just so much from some of the things that came out of this presentation. I've read the uh, books, I've been to the seminars and stuff, but Mike just brings it down to your level where it makes sense. Everybody else went that way too because they wanted to see it. And guess what else? They all decided that it would be a great idea to go 10 miles an hour and take pictures out the window. <laughs> this went on for about 10 minutes before my wife finally said, Mike, we're on vacation for heaven's sakes. You are ruining this vacation for everybody. Do you not look out the window and see what you're staring at? I mean, look what God provided for us to look at here. This is gorgeous. Can't you just relax and enjoy it like the rest of the people? I'd like to take a picture too, but I'm afraid to hang out the window at the speed you're driving. If you're interviewing a Gen Y person, they do not want you to focus on how long they were in their previous job. They want you to focus on the list of accomplishments on their resume that they got done in those four days. <laughs> the, the basic mentality of accounting and accountants and God love you because for people like me y'all do a great job of keeping us in line if it wasn't for my accounting wife there's no telling where we'd be financially however we started out with pretty much nothing and still have most of it <laughs> and listen where someone lives in the circle of belonging at work is all dependent on nothing more than this one little question do I feel accepted, understood, and appreciated? Looking at people in the workplace, uh, some of them may look like us, some may look like me, and some of them may look like some other generation with maybe a few different characteristics to them. Maybe a little different twist and turn. I don't know, maybe some of them you know, bounce fairly high when they get wound up about something. Maybe others of them, they, they don't bounce quite as high. Maybe there's ones that are very colorful and varied in the way they think about things and they bounce totally different altogether. But if you'll utilize these techniques in communicating with people, what you're going to end up with is a team of people that stand out from the rest. Y'all have a great day. I've enjoyed being here.